Hello, my name's Anna. I'm a first year orthoptic student here at the University of Sheffield. And today I'm gonna to be taking you along for a typical day. So here I am getting ready in the morning, putting my moisturizer on, doing my makeup, the essentials, picking out an outfit and of course, putting my glasses on. And I'm just packing my bag to get ready to go to uni. So I've got my laptop, charger, and here's some orthoptic equipment. You'll get to see that a bit more later, but I've got an occluder, a pen torch and a fixation stick. Obviously I have to get some snacks as well. I'm trying to get some hula hoops out. And an apple, balance it out. So here you can see that I'm rushing to uni. Um, that does quite often happen, but it's a lovely walk to uni through Sheffield. It takes about 20 minutes, but it's definitely worth it because it's so pretty. And you go past some lovely shops. Here's my favorite green grocers. I chose to study orthoptics at Sheffield, firstly because you know, it's a lovely city and when I came here for my interview everyone was really friendly. Um, I like that we're based in the hospital and it feels really kind of clinical and that you're in that work environment from day one. Also I think it's nice to know that you're doing a course where you are helping people and it is really useful and I think for a lot of people that's the motivating factor behind studying orthoptics um, because you do get to make a difference. So our first lecture was in the Hicks building. It's a strabismus lecture, which is one of the main parts of the core. Uh, strabismus is looking at the alignment of the eyes and the muscles, and that's something you'll learn a lot about on the course. I think I did it wrong. We all make mistakes. And here we are doing a quiz. After our lecture, we went and got a coffee, and then we were straight back into an optics lecture with Patrick. And here we are getting a pick and mix from the Students' Union. Here's my friend Anna, who also studies orthoptics. And here we are in a clinical skills session. So we're doing a cover test using an occluder, testing our 3D vision. And here we are testing our convergence, which is something you'll all learn about if you come and study orthoptics. Here I am testing vision using a logmar chart, which is what orthoptists and ophthalmologists use to test vision in hospitals. I think one of the things that stands out about our studies is how much time we spend on placement. So you'll go to various hospitals across the UK. It means you get to see a bit more of the country if you haven't. Um, and also it's nice that you, you get the uni experience being here in Sheffield, but also you get so much hands-on experience in the hospital with actual orthoptists and you'll see so many interesting cases. It really helps to kind of embed the knowledge and think, oh, that's why we learned that. This is what it actually means. Now I've come to the med school to go to the library. This is where I do most of my studying because it has all the books that I need and it's always really quiet. And here I am on my walk home. My main piece of advice for someone thinking of coming to study orthoptics would be to get some experience. Um, so contact your local orthoptic department and I'm sure they'll be happy to have you. Um, I know when I went and did my experience it made me think, ah yes, I've made the right decision, Like this is what I want to study. Um, get some experience. If you want to read around the topic, then you, know, you can see what news pieces there are. But overall I think if you come into it knowing you want to help people and you want to learn something completely new that you won't have done at A level, um, then you should do well. In the evening I went to a couple of societies, so here's a view of the Students' Union, there's always stuff going on here, oh and here's the Sustainable Shop, which um, is a zero waste shop as well. So the first society of the night was Craft Club and we were making Christmas tree decorations for charity um, and it's a very wholesome, fun thing to do with friends. Here I am doing a blanket stitch and this is Julia's snowman. And then after that we went to the First Aid Society. And then after First Aid we decided to come along to Bar One. So I'm here with some friends from the course and some from First Aid Society. It's such kind of a, a small intimate course that you really get to know everyone and everyone's really friendly. Here are some photos from the 2019 Eyeball which is arranged by the Orthoptic Society. Um, and all three years come together, have a nice evening with food, music. We did some awards as well, like worst attendance, um, biggest chatterbox. So that's something we all look forward to every year. And that is a typical day in my life. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.
can't recommend it enough to people. Yeah. Well, you can be our ambassador nice. for cosmetics. Gladly. <laughs>